Hi everyone, we're at CR Space 2024 in the US and I am now on the Airbus US booth who is showcasing this very interesting UH-72B uh, helicopter in an unmanned variant. So let's try to, to find out more. I believe it's the first time they are showcasing it. Sir, good morning. Can you please introduce yourself? I'm Carl Forsling. I'm a business development manager at Airbus US Space and Defense. All right. So Carl, what do, what do we have here? So this is Airbus's uh, offering to fill the Marine Corps' aerial logistics connector requirement. We're using the UH-72B unmanned logistics connector. So this is a variant of the Lakota platform uh, built to an unmanned specification. Uh, this is support Marines working in expeditionary advanced based operations. So there you have small teams of Marines operating in dispersed fashion across Pacific Island chains. They're going to need aerial resupply. Uh, they're already, uh, the Marine Corps has already expanded with, experimented with small and medium systems and they need a larger system to carry critical weapons, key cargo to disperse positions, support those Marines in the event of conflict. All right, so these would uh, carry loads from like uh, ships to shore or shore to shore? Exactly, these Marines would be operating in uh, platoon or company size elements, uh, long ways from uh, friendly bases. So they'd be working off of amphibious shipping of various types, other naval shipping, uh, and going from larger expeditionary advanced bases to smaller bases out in the field. I see there's a large uh, door, cargo door, uh, on the side of the helicopter. So you would carry the loads inside the platform and uh, what's the maximum uh, takeoff weight or what kind of load can you carry? So you're talking, there's some key cargoes the Marine Corps has identified as part of their requirements process that we've made modifications in order to uh, get those inside the aircraft. Primary way it's going to carry these loads is internally. Uh, it does, will retain the option to use external carriage for larger or out, oversized cargo. So it has that versatility that the Lakota platform has. So you're talking in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, depending on fuel load, range, et cetera, uh, anywhere from two to 4,000 pound range of cargo uh, capacity. This would come from uh, the hot production line for the Lakotas? Correct, we think that's a huge advantage of this platform. It's, uh, as I said, it's based off the UH-72, which in turn is related to the H-145, one of the largest families of light twin aircraft in the world. So we have a hot production line in Mississippi. Um, and with the unmanned modifications, this thing can be ready to field, uh, we think, uh, very quickly uh, and respond to needs of the Marine Corps. Do you leverage some of the uh, unmanned uh, technology uh, that uh, Airbus has worked on, uh, for example, in France with VSR 700 or in Germany with its platform? Right, we're using skill sets from across Airbus. Obviously, the foundation is this proven platform, but in order to automate that, we are reaching across Airbus and uh, some partners are provide the re requisite expertise in that field. Uh, when's, uh, what's, what's the schedule for this uh, program? When, when is the U.S. Marine Corps expecting to get its first uh, airframes? So I believe the Marine Corps, according to what they've uh, released publicly, uh, appears to be looking for fielding in the late 2020s. And again, by using an off-the-shelf platform with some modification, we think Airbus is well positioned to answer that call. All right, very well. Thank you very much. Thanks.